Hey everyone, it's Connor and Oscar, and we're from Boar Little, Little Coin, Coin Shop. Shop. Check it out, we've got something here. What do we have here, Oscar? Today we'll be opening the two ounce Swan Marley coin, which is really excited. It's a two ounce coin, antiqued, and I think the first one which it has colour on it with the antique coins, which is really exciting. So you're in particular quite excited for this one yeah, yourself. Yeah, the entire week, Connor of I. Connor and I have been going over it, just looking at the coin and whatnot. Really excited to open it, so let's just get straight into it. What well, do you reckon? Yeah, crack in. Yeah, sweet. Eh? Now, how, how do you think your, your, your unboxing skills are? They haven't proved since I started, absolutely. Oh. You jinxed yourself, mate. I mean, they're better than Michael's, but that doesn't say much, does it? <laughs> All right, so now why, why are you so excited about this coin? What is it about this coin that has got you hooked? Oh, there's a few things about this coin, you know. Um, one, that the fact it's a swan. Swans always sell really well, along with it being a really nice thing to have on a coin. Oh, wow. Okay, you can already get a glimpse through. These are absolutely beautiful. Do you have gloves for me? Um, yeah, we have one or two. two I need two there. pairs for this. Right there. So nobody gets mad at me. There is a gorgeous indigenous design on that. That's beautiful. Yeah, so if you're actually taking a look at it, the blue is the water and the green, I'm pretty sure, represents the bank. Okay. And so the the reds and oranges and stuff is just the landscape around it, which yeah. is really interesting. Dude, beautiful. And you can see the swan landing on the water there. So I'm going to take it out really gently. I'm always scared handling semi-numismatic coins. If you just take a look at that there, it's stunning. That is gorgeous. Yeah. Show us, show us all sides of the shipper. Yeah, why not? What else have we got? Some more detail on the... Oh, wow, it's there. actually... Uh, it's uh, not engraved, but, you know, it's you can coming out of it. Yeah, yeah, you can feel it. It's really cool. And I love when they do this with coins, you know? When they go that one step further to make even the packaging interesting. Yeah, yeah that's a really gorgeous job. And tell a job. story. And, oh, wow, even there. Going on with the motif of the colours. Gorgeous, loving the aesthetic. Yeah, it's... All right, yeah. now, what is in that box there? Which box? No, the one you've got in your hands. Oh, open, right. open her up, let's have a look. I'm always so scared. No, that's all right. It's good, it's only under camera. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for reassuring me there, Connor. That's fine, that's fine. Maybe gloves off. I might just take one glove off. Please don't be mad at me. I don't know how Michael always does this. He does it very seamlessly, doesn't he? He does. Maybe he's just more rough than I am. Maybe he's not as worried. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Nice. Taking it out, now the glove's coming back on. So you've had a look at it, haven't you, already? Just um, some photos. I've seen, uh, yeah, I've seen some of the, um, the, the, like, the release images, mm. but I haven't actually seen it in person, so I'm very excited to see it in person. Coins with beautiful artistry, often you can't capture it perfectly on, on film, can you? It's hard to appreciate it fully, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Amazing. That is really nice. Yeah. What's your first, what's the first thing that jumps out to you? Oh, just the swan and you know the outlining. Um, Perth Mint uh, only produced two thousand of these ones. Okay, so um, they're pretty limited then. Yeah, but something really cool about them is that oh, the queen looks great there. I think they actually captured her great for once. <laughs> okay, yeah. But um, nice. speaking of Perth Mint. Yeah. Um, they actually donated $10,000 to uh, the Magic Code, I think it was, which is a children's organization to be feel more safe in their households and new households. So that's a really cool part about this coin also, yep. and I feel like it adds depth to the coin and the entire release. Good on you, Perth Mint. Props yeah. to you. Good on you, guys. That's stunning. What's your, what do you reckon your favorite part of this design is? Um, I love the... What's it called? The dot painting? What's it? I'm, I don't know if there's an official name for it. We'll yeah, I don't want to get it wrong, but uh, it really does work well. And um, takes up the whole coin. You can see the Perth Mint Privy Mark as per usual. But yeah, just all in all, it's a really nice coin. Are you going to add it to your stack? I've already got two. You've already got two? Yes, and I've been dying because I've asked Michael so many times, can we open this up? And he's gone, no, no, no. And I wanted to take some home yesterday, but we're here now and we'll open them up. Um, I also want to look at this. You can just see how they go above and beyond. Yeah, that design is stunning. Yeah, and this is what you really hope for with coins like this. Oh, wow. And there's even So more. that's the landscape I was talking about, the red, you know, rocky landscape mm -hmm. in the background there. 
The designer of this coin, Kevin Binder, he did an excellent job. First of all, excuse me if I mispronounced your name, but um, no, he did an excellent job. Um, he's a really interesting guy, even designing AFL jerseys and stuff like that. But no, once again, Connor and I both love this coin and think he did a great job. Beautiful. Well, thank you very much for showing us that one there, Oscar. Yeah, thanks for letting me unbox this today, Connor. No, no problem at all. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care.